the Taiwan CDC is moving to ease fears about mycoplasma pneumonia, which is driving a surge of illness in China. At a government press event, a doctor said that in most cases, mycoplasma infections cause conditions like bronchitis, which tend to resolve themselves without antibiotics. He also gave tips on how to recognize severe infections that warrant medical attention. Respiratory disease season is in full swing and patients are flocking to clinics. There are fears that China's mycoplasma pneumonia epidemic will cross over to Taiwan. At a Friday press event, the Taiwan CDC said that if children show certain symptoms, parents should seek medical attention immediately. The most concerning conditions are pneumonia and encephalitis. Those are the main things to watch out for in pediatric patients. If a child has shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, if the skin is turning black, or if they have chest pain or altered consciousness, if any of these symptoms manifest, it's time to go to the hospital. Mycoplasma pneumonia has captured global attention. At Friday's press event, Chang'e Memorial Hospital Dr. Huang Yuchen presented the latest data on respiratory diseases in Taiwan. Over the past four weeks, 32 percent of respiratory cases involved the flu. 26 percent was adenovirus, and 14 percent involved the parainfluenza virus. Other cases involved respiratory syncytial virus and COVID. Meanwhile, mycoplasma infections accounted for less than 1 percent of cases, indicating low prevalence. Even so, public panic has grown, prompting reports of an antibiotic shortage. Mycoplasma typically presents as an upper respiratory tract infection, such as pharyngitis, tracheitis, and bronchitis. Some cases don't require treatment. It's just like a viral infection. You can treat the symptoms and the condition will gradually resolve itself. There's no need to get antibiotics because it'll get better on its own. That's something I want to underscore. To prevent mycoplasma from entering Taiwan from abroad, the Taiwan CDC has set up checkpoints for arrivals from China, Hong Kong and Macau at four international airports in Taiwan. Travelers with symptoms can voluntarily get tested upon arrival for 17 viruses and four bacteria. There are 11 tests that are still being processed, but so far no tests have come back positive for mycoplasma, which is what everyone is concerned about. Data from China shows that the mycoplasma epidemic is on a decline. Now it's mostly seasonal flu. In the first four days of the testing program, 38 samples were collected. 13 came back positive for seasonal flu and three for COVID. The Taiwan CDC says that the best way to stay healthy is still to get vaccinated, wash your hands frequently and mask up.